The Duke of Sussex is in a pickle with the departure of Josh Kettler, the Chief of Staff, after just three months. It's raised significant concerns about the future direction, the stability of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's operations in the United States. And the development is not merely a minor hiccup. It may signal deeper structural issues within their team and the broader challenges that they have in maintaining a cohesive and effective operation as a sort of exiled court. Firstly, the timing of his exit is particularly problematic, coming just before the Sussex's planned quasi-tour of Colombia. The departure of a key staff member during such a critical period suggests not only a disruption in their logistical and strategic planning, but also it raises questions about the stability and the effectiveness of their leadership. Kettler's departure is not an isolated incident. It follows a pattern of high turnover in senior staff within their organisation, with numerous key figures such as Bennett Levine, Ben Browning, also leaving uh, in the very recent um, past. And this trend suggests a deeper issue possibly stemming from the couple's leadership style or unrealistic expectations that they place on their staff, um, or indeed simply finding the wrong people to do the wrong jobs, finding a square pin for a round hole. Uh, the Express ran an article today about this and uh, quoted a royal expert. One, one's always got to be very careful with royal experts because they just seem to be the person who's not doing anything else of significance. This is a fellow called Tom Quinn and he says that Meghan and Harry assume that it's, an e it's as easy to do something as it is to tell somebody to do it. And that's an interesting uh, management problem. That a lot of fuss is often spent in boardrooms deciding what you want to do and then when the decision is made it's assumed that it's going to happen and people are frustrated that it takes so long to actually execute the problem. I, I come across this, as an animator, I come across this all the time. A lot of fuss is spent trying to decide what should be done, and then people are slightly frustrated that it takes a long time to actually turn that plan into action. And it would be better to fuss less and get the plan acted uh, activated earlier because there isn't the time to indulge and certainly when I've been doing TV titles and things there simply hasn't been the time to in, in a normal working day to actually fit in the time needed to um, animate and produce the stuff to the standard that I would expect so what this has meant is literally working 24 hours a, a day working round the clock simply to get the the um, the drawings done and 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 then you get these very these very um, green producers who can't understand why it takes so long they've already made their decision this is about a failure to understand the process and I can well imagine that Meghan and Harry have got into this problem because it's very much the stuff of production think and it's very much led by the California Brigade and uh, the, the Disney people are very, are very much caught by this mood where there's lots and lots of discussions about what they plan to do but the execution can sometimes be a little bit faulty. There, there are some films that are sort of four years in the, in the making but actually um, only take a year to to animate, and the animators are worked off their feet. Um, during the during the recent renaissance of Disney films, um, there was eventually a recognition of this, and the process of animation was extended from one year to two years. Utter madness! It was relying on people being so committed, which of course we are. But it's also about a failure in leadership, thinking through the practical um, problems of doing what, what we're expected to do. The notion that the Sussex couple could be 
out of touch with the practical challenges of running a complex high-profile operation is troubling but highly understandable. Effective leadership requires not just vision but also a deep understanding of the operational realities and the constraints that the team faces. The frequent turnover of staff could indicate that this understanding is lacking, leading to frustration and burnout among those who work for them. On the other hand, close uh, close sources to the Sussexes have downplayed the significance of Kettler's departure, noting that he was hired on a trial basis and that the decision to part ways was mutual. This perspective suggests that the issue may not be as dramatic as it appears or <laughs> that both Kettler and the Sussexes realised it wasn't working. It amounts to the same sort of thing, doesn't it? You know, if you know something isn't working, you want to get out. Uh, and the departure could simply be a matter of finding the right fit for such a unique and demanding role. However, even if this were the case, it still points to challenges the couple faces in building a stable and committed team around them, a challenge that's crucial for the long-term success of their various ventures. And the implications of these staffing issues for Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's future are significant. Their success in the United States, particularly with their media and charitable endeavours, depends heavily on having a strong, cohesive team that can execute their vision effectively. If they continue to experience high turnover and struggle to retain top talent, it could undermine their efforts and damage their credibility. But the problem, really, with the, that Harry and Meghan are discovering is that finding good management is almost impossible in the present age because management has got into this turnover of jumpy uh, junior producers who want to take on big jobs and don't really have the skills don't they don't have the skill set they don't have the backup they don't have the experience to manage something as huge as a, um, a disenfranchised royal court. The public perception of Meghan and Harry's operation as crumbling, as suggested by some commentators and some newspapers today, uh, could further erode their influence and their effectiveness. Uh, the narrative in, of instability could be dangerous, especially for a couple who are already navigating a complex and often hostile media landscape. But to counter this, they, they can demonstrate stability, and it's crucial for them to demonstrate stability, perhaps by retaining key staff for longer periods, by making a successful high-profile um, splash, by hiring people that inspire confidence, by succeeding in Colombia. While the departure of Joss Kettler, therefore, may be explained as a mutual decision following a trial period, it nevertheless highlights ongoing challenges for the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. And the repeated loss of key staff members suggests there may be deeper issues related to leadership and expectations. For Prince Harry and Meghan Markle to succeed in their ambitious plans, they need to address these issues. They need to surround themselves with um, friends rather than um, rather than hangers-on and sycophants. And that's probably difficult to find. Where are their friends? Because the friends can see the problems before the management. And they need to address these issues. They need to foster a more stable working environment. They need to build the team that is not only capable, but also loyal and committed for the long term. And the future of their endeavours in the United States will depend on it. But I think they should also be looking to, to find a way to build a bridge back to Britain. That is, in the end, the only secure future.